I've worked with hundreds of athletes who've come to me for lack of confidence or low confidence in their performances. Well, what if I told you that the truth about confidence is you don't need it. Not even a shred of it is necessary for brilliant performances in any sport or field. Yep, that's right. You don't need any confidence in order to compete to your highest potential in your greatness. But first, why do I teach such sports heresy to, to athletes of all ages when they're looking to me to help them build confidence? Because step one in building confidence is in letting go of the need for it. You see, athletes, especially younger athletes, they hold themselves back from their best performances when they show up to comp competition and they don't feel confident. They then incorrectly judge themselves lacking and therefore they start thinking about performing and, and trying to control their movements. It doesn't work. In other words, it's the thought that you need confidence when you don't have it that creates tension, tightness, nervousness that actually hurts your ability to perform. Not the lack of confidence, the thought that you need it. Athletes and people in all endeavors, for that matter, they do amazing things every day with zero confidence. I once asked a coach who had brought his team to the NCAA championships three times um, and had years of division one success in his sport. And I asked, and I asked him, coach, how do you help your athletes build confidence? And his answer was, well, the only way I know how to build confidence is to have some success. And then you get the confidence. Well, think about it for a, for a second here. We don't start out day one with confidence now, do we? Therefore, we start achieving things from scratch, right? You gotta get your first win sometime, right? Let's take this to its logical extreme and see if my theory holds up. We were all babies once, right? And we wanted to walk because we saw adults walking around us, right? We end up walking because, well, as long as we have two good legs, we end up walking because we possess two character traits. Even as a baby, everybody's got this. One, drive or desire, same thing. We want to walk, just like we want to achieve in our sport. And number two, babies, they aren't afraid to fall down and get back up again. Those two things are all you need to achieve anything. Zero confidence about walking when we decided to walk as a baby. Babies don't even have the ability to comprehend confidence. And yet they teach themselves to walk. Don't get me wrong, confidence is helpful and good. I help athletes build confidence every day. And the way you do it is to continually revisit your past successes. And that's what it is about you. And, and what it is about you that made that success happen. Your skills, abilities, talents, and resources. You remind yourself of your proven skills, your abilities, all the things you can do at least as much as you review your errors in order to build this confidence. That's how you do it. Nobody can do this for you. Everybody has the ability to do it easily and everybody has many successes and talents to draw from. Start with the idea that you do not need any confidence to have any kind of an amazing performance and you'll actually be building confidence at hyper speed. Let's do this. I'm Craig Sigal, your mental toughness trainer.